When choosing your fellowship, you're looking to become a leader in regional anesthesia. In order to do that, you need to find a program that offers you the breadth of surgical case volume. You need to find experts in regional anesthesia, experts in anatomy. And when those combine, you truly get advanced techniques and knowledge that you can't read in a book. One of the main strengths of the regional anesthesia program here at the Mayo Clinic is the clinical experience. The amount of surgeries allow us to both cover rooms doing blocks and procedures by ourselves, but also allow us and give us the opportunities to supervise a residents to do them. The complexity of our patients, the different type of procedures that we do every day, allow us to have like a different clinical exposure. And I think that it's what it makes the difference from the other regional anesthesia programs. In addition to our fantastic clinical experience, our fellows will have the opportunity to do a wide variety of types of research, all the way from clinical research to lab research, if that's what they're interested in. For me, part of the reason that I came here was because I'm interested in going down an academic anesthesia path, although I don't think that people who come here necessarily need to have that same end goal. I'm having not only an excellent clinical experience, but I'm also having opportunities in research, which has been really nice for me. Dr. Johnson, she's an editor at the Regional Anesthesia Journal, and she and I are working together um, in a men mentor program to so that I'm reviewing journal articles, which has been really good for me because you get to know the guidelines and how to write an article well and um, what other reviewers are going to be looking for when you present your work. We also have had fellows who know that their future practice is going to involve other areas, not just regional anesthesia, which is the case for most of us. And so we are able to provide them with opportunities to go up to OB, for example, if they know that they're going to be taking OB call in their future practice, or go to our endoscopy suite. Really anything that is going to be helpful for them, we have it here at Mayo. The program basically took me to uh, kind of like another level in terms of skills and knowledge. I think the difference is just the exposure that you have to those, those patients that come here for care. We'll get all sorts of pathology here and uh, I guess in the real world when I, when I go out there and, and just take care of patients then I'll have this experience that will help me out a lot. So as you start looking for your future fellowship, I think it's really important to look at what is the relationship with the fellow and the program. And one of the things that I think is best about this program is that we don't need the fellows to do the work, but we want the fellows here to learn. And so by having you here because we want you here, but we don't need you here, it makes the fellowship something that really can be all about you. And I think that that's really the key here, especially in such a small fellowship, you really can make it what you want and leave with everything that you need to go on and have a fantastic career as a regional anesthesiologist. What's great here is we have seven different fellowships just within our department. If you add up all the different fellows together, it's a really nice group. And it's a very diverse group as well. People from different areas of the country, people who trained here and people who didn't. And we want folks to feel like there's a community here for them. We were able to participate in different journal clubs with other specialties like cardiac anesthesia, colorectal surgery, orthopedic surgery. These type of collaborations really enrich the experience for us because it's a big transition for my family to come up here. I think people want you to feel welcome here. Rochester is really beautiful. I got here in the summertime and there's just, you know, beautiful wildflowers out. I love to jog. It's lots of biking trails around Rochester, lots of parks. There's a, a multicultural community that has come to Rochester and um, that's represented in the restaurants here. So that's been really nice. The unique part of Mayo Clinic and our mentorship program is that every person's different, every individual is different. When I was a fellow here, I had a research mentor. That person's now the chair of the department. I had a patient care mentor. I also had an education mentor. So it's just sheer numbers. We have so many people that you get to interact with and you'll find that connection with that person. Often a lot of our fellows have just come from residency and a unique feature of Mayo Clinic is we have several oral board examiners 
and we tie those fellows into those oral board examiners so they can take multiple exams to make sure that they're well prepped for the oral board exam. Here, from the staff, from the consultants, the nurses, the administrative assistants, everyone is here to support you. That makes me feel that I can do the best work for my patients. It, that's why I came here. People come here from all over because it's nice to be able to be engaged with colleagues who are similarly striving for the same kind of expertise in clinical care. The reputation and the training that you get here is exceptional and of course world class.